Oh, she lost it. Good D from Jar. It's stolen away. Here come the Vikings. Puts it up. Izzy Jar for two. North now has it again. I was lost. I don't know what just... Four score, 14.37 left on the clock. O'Keefe, left elbow, finds, feeds it inside to Megan Standiford. She's fouled, and she'll get two. The foul will be on Schneider. So two fouls from each team so far. First free throw is up. And good. For Megan Staniford. Second one hits the front rim. Rebound goes to Schneider. She pushes it up herself. Finds Olsen. Now Velisca feeds it inside Klein. She's denied by O'Keefe. Here comes Ellie O'Keefe. She's going coast to coast. The layup is no good, but she's fouled. On her way up, she'll get two. 8-5 our score. And Schneider with the foul again. So it'll be her second. Third team foul. O'Keefe will get two. First one is good. All right, hello everybody, and sorry for the technical difficulties, not being able to hear audio. Still trying to figure everything out, work some things. We got some new technology that we're playing with, and now if we got to work, and we're ready to go, 8-7 our score, if you've been following along watching us on our video feed, and Lydia Olson with the shot, it's good. 10-7 is our score. With under 14 minutes to play. Vikings up three. Huskies have it now. It's Lavoie driving left. She kicks it out to Santana. Now, corner three. No good. Rebound by Raybon. Trying to dribble her way through two defenders. She spin moves, passes to Velisca. What a move that was. Was not called for travel. It's Jar driving right, puts up a shot. No good. Offensive rebound. Olsen, she's fighting. And she gets it taken away by O'Keefe. O'Keefe now, coast to coast, puts up a layup, no good. Rebound by Raybon, she's finding Jar. Now she's into a triple team, kicks it out, Velisca, pump fakes a three, puts up an elbow shot, no good. Rebound goes to the Huskies, back and forth, right now we go. Between the Vikings and the Huskies, deep three from Lavoie, it's good. 10 apiece now, under 13 to play here in the first half. Velisca, she loses the ball. She was coming around from elbow to elbow. Trying to feed it inside north with Staniford, kicks it back out to Santana. Trying to find O'Keefe cutting across with a back door, it's no good. Intercepted by the Holman Vikings. Trying to stay some football terms. It's the NCAA football championship tonight as well. Raybon three-pointer, that one no good. Rebound by Jar. She fights for it, not called for a foul after a reach attempt. Raybon for three again, that one no good. Offensive board goes to Jar. She's fighting, this time she's fouled. Izzy Jar showing her strength with the multiple offensive rebounds there. That's the third team foul from Eau Claire North. So it'll stay down here. Vikings will get it at their own baseline. 
Macy Klein will throw it in. Klein finds Jar at the free throw line. Makes it a little move. Tries to put up a shot. Does not hit the rim. And it'll go out of bounds. Huskies ball. Jaden Smith dribbling it up the court for Eau Claire North. Here's Bushendorf now. Offensive foul. On Hope Bushendorf. It'll be Vikings ball. Good job there from the Vikings as Jar checks out. Schneider checks in. Tie game, 10-10 our score, under 12 to play. It's Macy Klein, her third game back. Nice dribble move, a little crossover, finds Schneider on the left side. She kicks it out, Raybon, three-pointer, it's good! Vikings up three. Just over 11 minutes to play now. Jaden Smith has it for the Huskies. Left corner, dribbling around, trying to take a screen from Ava O'Keefe. Lavoie has it, now kicks it to Smith in the corner. As it was off of Viking, it'll stay on this side of the court. Cortara Smith inbounding it to Haley Lavoy. Top of the key, back to Smith now. Smith on the right side, kicks it out to Buschendorf. Buschendorf now feeds it inside to Ava O'Keefe. Layup is good with the left hand. 13-12. Klein dribbling it up the court for the Vikings. Up one, 10 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Raybon to Velisca, two point attempt, no good. Rebound goes to the Huskies. And a foul there on Taft, or excuse me, on Tef. It'll be her first. She's trying to get that ball. Last second after Bushendorf had the rebound. Trying to come from behind there. Bushendorf has it, swings it to O'Keefe, Ava O'Keefe. Good ball movement from the Huskies. Three point attempt from them, bank shot in, it's good. Cortara Smith for three. Can't be complaining there, if it's in, it's in. Even if it's a bank. Teff puts up a two, that one's good. Hadley Teff for two, it's her first basket. We're tied up at 15 apiece. Huskies now, pull up three. No good, rebound by Schneider. She'll take it up the court herself. 9.33 to play and counting. Rayvon for three, no good. Offensive rebound goes to Klein. As Schneider tried to hit it off of a Husky there, does not work, the Huskies pick it up. Now they're in a fast break. Two point attempt from Ellie O'Keefe. The other O'Keefe sister, it's good. And timeout by the Eau Claire North Huskies. They're up by two. We're gonna take a break ourselves. This is High School Girls Basketball on WKTY. Cheering for your team at the game can definitely give them a needed push on the field. Cheering for your plumber on the other hand. Well, the team at Bernie Buckner can't say it happens every day, but they'll get the job done no matter what. So make some noise for your team at the next game. And if you need a plumber or someone to take on your next commercial HVAC project, call Bernie Buckner. They're proud to support high school athletics and they aren't afraid to tackle your toilet trouble. Go to BernieBucknerINC.com. Welcome back to Holman, Wisconsin. Monday night hoops action. 
the calm before the storm. Literally, it's supposed to be a huge storm coming tonight, late tonight, in the lacrosse area. Vikings down two. Raybon has it, right wing. She dribbled around, dribbles to her left, now picks up her dribble at the right elbow, finds Velisca. Velisca to Teth, feeds it inside Izzy Jar. A little post move there, puts up a right hand shot, no good, and a jump ball between Teff and a Husky. Possession arrow goes to the Huskies. North up two. As Lydia Olson checks in for Hadley Teff. Ellie O'Keefe dribbling it up for the North Huskies. Good job there from Jar hedging the screen. Left hand layup attempt, no good from Adeline Schelpler. Vikings have it now. Olsen finds Raybon, trying to feed it inside a jar. She lost it for a second there, and another jump ball. Possession arrow to the Vikings now. 8.20 remaining. Vikings still down two. Good game so far. As Klein pass it in to Raybon. Back to Klein, right corner. Pump fakes the three, now kicks it to Velisca. Back to Klein. Finds Olsen cutting, shot no good. Rebound goes to the Huskies. Here comes Claire North. Deep three from Cortara Smith again. No good, she banked one in earlier. That one won't fall. Under eight minutes to play now here in the first half. 17-15 our score. Claire North leads by two. Here's Klein now. Right hand layup attempt, she's fouled on her way up. She'll get two. Again, Macy Klein, her third game back. After out for the first half of the season, concussion protocol. She got unfortunately banged up in volleyball playoffs. But she's back now, and the Vikings are glad to have her back as the first free throw attempt is good. She's a scorer, no doubt about that. Averaging already 14 points a game in her first two games back. Both free throws are good. We're all tied up, 17 apiece. Under eight to play. Huskies have it now. Ellie O'Keefe hands it off to Shepler. Now to Smith and traveling violation. Don't see many of those anymore in the sport of basketball. Nonetheless, Vikings will get it. Seven and a half minutes to play and counting. Macy Klein dribbling it up. She finally crosses half court and passes it to Raybon. Raybon finding Jar inside. Jar takes one dribble, rolls to her left, puts up a shot, no good, gets her own rebound, kicks it to Raybon, swings it to Klein for three. It's good! Macy Klein with a three-point basket. Nice looking shot there. First time I've seen it. 20 to 17 our score. Cortara Smith drives right, puts up a shot, no good. Offensive rebound and a putback attempt from Adeline Schepler is no good, but she's fouled on her way up. She'll get two. Raybon gets foul call on her. First attempt from Schepler, rolls around the front rim and in. Two point game. Substitutions for both teams. Second free throw attempt is good. 2019 our score. Raybon has it now. Finds Velisca. Left wing. Puts up a three. It's good. Sydney Velisca for three. And the Vikings go up by four. Steal attempt. Still Huskies ball. Good defense from 
Klein. Ellie O'Keefe looking around, can't find anybody, finds Shepler, back to Ellie O'Keefe. Puts up a two, it's good, right around the th free throw line. Good crowd here tonight, it's youth night for the youth girls basketball teams ranging from third grade to eighth grade. Taff has it, kicks it back out to Olsen. Villisca now feeds Teff again. Now trying to find Klein, who she was originally cutting in. And before that, it's going to be a timeout taken by Holman. They're up two. We're going to take a break ourselves. This is High School Girls Basketball on WKTY. Remember when service stations actually cared about service? These days, it seems like fast and good enough are the new standards. Andy's Main Street Auto doesn't see it that way. When you stop into Andy's for a full service oil change, you get real service. Your oil change comes with a 21-point inspection, including brakes. Plus, all of your fluids get topped off. Top to bottom, front to back, for 50 years, Andy's has been repairing your car or truck. Andy's Main Street Auto in Holman putting service back into service stations. Hungry? Get to the Blue Moon, the Highway 35 landmark across from the Big Fish. We're open and still serving great food specials every day of the week. Sunday, kids eat for just 99 cents. Monday, get 75 cent boneless wings. Got five bucks? Come in Tuesday for $2 off appetizers or Wednesday for $1 wings. Got any friends? Good for you. Bring them in Thursday for burgers. Friday, we've got the best fish fry in town. And Saturday, prime rib. Breakfast till two? Done. Everything you want every day of the week at the Blue Moon. Welcome back to Holman High School. Good ball game so far, 23-21 our score with a two-point Holman lead. As the Eau Claire North Huskies travel south to take on the Vikings here tonight. Three-point attempt from Schneider. Rolls around the rim, no good. Offensive rebound goes to Joe, oh, just kidding. She tried to pull it down, but she fell. Couldn't hang on to the ball. McClare North has it now. Three-point attempt by Jaden Smith. That one's good. And the Huskies take the lead. That's Smith. And her first few points tonight. Raybon has it now. Find Schneider. A foul down low. They're going to say it's on Claire North. I think that's Standiford. Holding Jar. It's kind of hard to try to contain Jar inside. She's been a beast all season. Here's Jar inside on the left. Ooh, couldn't go in. And trying to get the offensive rebound was Schneider. She could not get it after it hit, hit off a, of a Husky's face there. That doesn't feel great. Five minutes to play now. Huskies up one. Ellie O'Keefe puts up a three. It's good. 27-23. Nice shot there from O'Keefe. Feliska now finds a cutting Schneider. And her shot is no good. Huskies trying to extend their lead. Already up four, four and a half minutes to go. It's Shepler on the right side, kicks it out to Lavoie. Drive the baseline and kicked it to Smith in the left corner. Now back to Lavoie. Lavoie picked up her dribble. She doesn't know where to go with it. Finds Shepler. Shepler kicks it to Smith. Smith driving, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound is each are. She takes it up herself, four minutes to go now. Finds Raybon to Velisca. There's Klein, cutting, spin move. Try to go up with the right, no good. McClure North having it now. Ellie O'Keefe doesn't know where to go. Swings it to Jaden Smith. Trying to feed Staniford inside. And they say she was pushed. While trying to catch the ball, that foul is going to be on Klein. That'll be her second. 
the six team foul. Both teams have six fouls. Not at the bonus yet. Three point attempt from Smith. Rolls around the rim, no good. However, the ball gets tipped right into Shepler's hand. Another three, this time from O'Keefe. That one's no good. Rebound Vikings, they push it overhead, trying to find Raybon. It's intercepted by O'Keefe. She's dribbling it now, loses a dribble for a second. Kicks it out to a teammate, it's Lavoie. Puts up a two, no good. Rebound is Ejar. Jar hustling now, crossing half court. Finds Olsen. Olsen puts up a shot, no good. She's fouled, oh no, it's an offensive foul. They call a charge. The second charge called tonight. I've seen more in this game than I have all season. I've seen none before this game. So with just over three minutes to go, 27-23 our score. Holman can't find a bucket right now. It's been a little while. However, defense is still pretty good. As that one almost ripped away from Olsen, it gets back into a Husky's hand. O'Keefe three is no good. Rebound Velisca finds Schneider overhead. Schneider no good. Offensive board put back, no good from Olsen. And they say the ball went out of bounds. It'll be Husky's ball. The ball hit the baseline before the Eau Claire North Husky touched it because she was way out of bounds trying to save it. So that could be my only thought process of calling that Eau Claire North's ball. Nonetheless, it is. Santana trying to find Shepler, turns it over. Vikings ball. Again, no Charlie Casey tonight. So Hadley Tuff seeing some more minutes. Offensively missing Casey hurts a little bit. She's third in points per game for this team. Klein hands it off to Velisca. Velisca finds Raybon, feeds it inside a jar on the left side. Spin move, left, it's good. Izzy Jar doing what she does best. And that's work in the paint. Another pass attempt trying to find Shepler cutting to the basket. It's another turnover. Back to back from McClure North. See if the Vikings can capitalize again with just under two minutes to go here in the first half. Vikings down two. Raybon. Finds Klein, feeds it to Jar inside, who kicks it out to Velisca. Back to Jar. Goes with her left. She's fouled on her way up. She'll get two. Izzy Jar will go to the line. The foul was on Cortara Smith. Jar has a chance to tie it if she makes both. First one is good. Jar will get one more. To tie. It's good. And we're tied, 27 apiece. Here come the Huskies. Two point attempt from Smith is no good. Rebound from Teff. And a traveling violation on Raybon as Teff was trying to find Raybon to push up to push the ball up the floor. She kind of fumbled with it for a little bit and never took a dribble. Before she did, it was too late. Minute and a half to go. Huskies have the ball tied 27 apiece. Good defense now from Holman as they're showing a zone. Letting North shoot. Layup attempt, no good from Sands Hanna. And the Vikings have the ball now, just over a minute to go. Spin right, trying to put up a shot. She's following her way up. It was Macy Klein. Very aggressive, which is what you love to see 
she wants to score, no doubt about that. Klein already has made two free throws tonight. And she makes number three. Vikings up one now with 109 to go in the first half. Great game so far. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Second one hits the back end of the rim, but the rebound goes to Teth. So new life for Holman. Raybon feeds Jar on the left side. She puts up with the right. It's no good. They're fumbling, losing, excuse me, they're fighting for the ball. Jar was trying to save it, but she could not. It goes out of bounds. Huskies ball. Under a minute to go. As Holman leads by one. Ellie O'Keefe with the ball. Hands it off to Jaden Smith, who now finds Ava O'Keefe. Trying to find Santa Fern. Jar takes it away. Jar now finds Raybon. See if they take hold it for the last shot. Maybe not. Maybe they want to get aggressive. 30 seconds left. They're trying to find Velisca. That one's tipped off. Ava O'Keefe puts up a shot. No good. Rebound by Hadley Teff. Teff finds Raybon. Raybon cross court pass to Lydia Olsen. And she traveled putting up the shot. So with 19.1 seconds to go, Huskies now have a chance to take the lead before halftime. It's Ellie O'Keefe trying to find Sandiford inside. The pass was not there. Jaden Smith now on the left side. Feeds it to Sandiford. She's doubled. She kicks it out. Ava O'Keefe puts up a shot. No good. And that will be the end of the first half. What a battle so far here tonight between these two teams. Holman is up by one. We're going to take a quick break ourselves and we'll be back with some halftime stats. This is High School Girls Basketball on WKTY. I'm Angela Sherwinski. I'm a mortgage loan officer at WMB Financial in Holman. I'm Dave Justice, community president of WMB Financial in Holman. The relationship building we do, the reputations we have, the tenure we have in lending between the two of us, it's almost 40 years. Dave's older than I am, so obviously he's got a few more of those years on me. Holman's got a good thing with Angela in town. She is one of the best mortgage lenders I've ever encountered. Our bank is WMB Financial, and we are all Holman. WMB Financial, more than a bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Oh, I have so many resolutions for 2024. Yeah? Like what? Go to the gym, try to keep a plan alive, save some money. I hear you, but you can totally save money with a little help from Citizens First Bank, of course. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they help me set up a savings account. I can track my transactions with mobile banking, lots of stuff. Wow, I'll give them a call. From your first account to every other first that comes next. Citizens First Bank. Banking with people. Member FDIC. Cheering for your team at the game can definitely give them a needed push on the field. Cheering for your plumber, on the other hand, well, the team at Bernie Buckner can't say it happens every day, but they'll get the job done no matter what. So make some noise for your team at the next game, and if you need a plumber or someone to take on your next commercial HVAC project, call Bernie Buckner. They're proud to support high school athletics, and they aren't afraid to tackle your toilet trouble. Go to BernieBucknerINC.com. Remember when service stations actually cared about service? These days, it seems like fast and good enough are the new standards. Andy's Main Street Auto doesn't see it that way. When you stop into Andy's for a full service oil change, you get real service. Your oil change comes with a 21-point inspection, including brakes. Plus, all of your fluids get topped off. Top to bottom, front to back, for 50 years, Andy's has been repairing your car or truck. Andy's Main Street Auto in Holman putting service back into service stations. 
Hungry? Get to the Blue Moon, the Highway 35 landmark across from the Big Fish. We're open and still serving great food specials every day of the week. Sunday, kids eat for just 99 cents. Monday, get 75 cent boneless wings. Got five bucks? Come in Tuesday for $2 off appetizers or Wednesday for $1 wings. Got any friends? Good for you. Bring them in Thursday for burgers. Friday, we've got the best fish fry in town. And Saturday, prime rib. Breakfast till 2? Done. Everything you want every day of the week at the Blue Moon.
right, welcome back. Halftime almost wrapping up. Just over a minute to go before the second half gets going. Let's take a look at the scores for both teams. Right now, three Vikings share the lead with six points each. With Jar, Schneider, and Klein, six points each. Then Velisco with a three, as well as Rayvon with a three. And then Olsen and Teth both have two. So sharing the ball has been working for the Vikings. As for the Eau Claire North Huskies, it's Ellie O'Keefe, the junior, with 11 points, followed by Buschendorf with four. Both Jaden Smith and Cortara Smith with three points each. Shepler with two, Lavoy with three, and Stanford with one. Again, no Charlie Casey tonight, but so far Holman has been doing well without her offensive presence. And what's been a big help is having Macy Klein back into the game, or excuse me, into this rotation for Holman for the rest of the year. Again, this is her third game back, and she's been playing well. She loves to attack the basket, head down full force, and it's been working for her. That's why she's got six points. So here we go, second half underway. We switch sides. The Huskies now going from left, the left to right. Vikings going right to left. Huskies in Carolina blue jerseys trying to kind of copy the North Carolina Tar Heels with the diamond pattern on the side. Ellie O'Keefe with another basket. And that's how this second half gets going. 29-28. Our score, Huskies lead by one. Klein kicks it to Velisca, right wing. Finds Raybon top of the key, swings it over to Schneider. Three point attempt is off the mark. Rebound goes to Velisca, however. Back to Klein. Finds Raybon cutting inside. She kicks it out to Jar to the left. She now drives, she puts up a shot. She's fouled, she'll get two. Izzy Jar has a chance to tie it, if not take the lead with her two free throws here. First one is good. And we're all tied up at 29 apiece. Second attempt, also good. Izzy Jar has four made free throws here tonight. Ellie O'Keefe takes the ball at the court for the Huskies. Here's Ava O'Keefe now at the top of the key, now driving to her left after a spin move. She gets denied. However, <laughs> the ball goes right back to the Huskies, and it's Buschendorf for two. She has six now. Huskies retake the lead. Schneider, top of the key, driving right. Puts up a shot. She's fouled on her way up. She'll get two. Olivia Schneider started this game off with the first six points for the Vikings. She was an offensive threat early. As first free throw attempt is good. All tied up at 31. As the first minute and a half has been played here in the second half. Second attempt is also good, and the Vikings retake the lead by one. Huskies moving quick. That one's stolen away by Jar. Vikings now moving quick as Klein was trying to find Schneider across the court, couldn't connect. So will be a turnover there, Huskies ball. Claire North down one. It's O'Keefe 
find Stanford, kicks it out. Smith for three, no good. Rebound by Schneider. She waits so there's no defenders on her. Now she finds Raybon for three. That one off the mark. Rebound Izzy Jar. Kicks it out to Velisca. She swings it to Schneider, top of the key. Back to Velisca. She was trying to find Jar inside, could not. She was guarded heavily by a Husky. Schneider now driving life. Spin move, left, and oh, she walked. Couldn't keep her plant foot down. She was trying to do the spin move. And it'll be a turnover there, Huskies ball. Under 16 to play now. 32-31, Vikings lead. O'Keefe finds Smith. Smith puts up a shot, no good. Offensive rebound. Was Staniford. That one taken away now. Here comes Holman. Jar picks up her dribble. Finds Klein now by the Holman H logo. Now finds Raybon right wing. Kicks it to Velisca. Swings it over to Schneider. Feeds Jar to the left side. Trying to find Raybon across the court to the right corner. That one's intercepted. Ava O'Keefe high. Arcing bank shot is no good. Offensive rebound. Standiford kicks it out to Smith. Now in the left corner. It's Novalin Sands Hannah. She finds Jaden Smith. Swings it over to Ava O'Keefe, who finds her sister, Ellie O'Keefe. Back to Ava, then back to Ellie again. Feeds it inside. Oh, nice pass to Megan Stanford. Her first field goal. And the Huskies now retake the lead. 14 and a half minutes to play. It's Klein trying to hand it off to Raybon. That one's stolen away from from her. It was Ava O'Keefe with the steal. She was trying to find Ellie O'Keefe inside. She's fouled. She hit the ground, but she seems okay. All smiles from her. So with 14-17 left on the clock, it's been back and forth game I think the biggest lead has been four points. And that was by Claire North earlier in the first half. Ava O'Keefe kicks it out to Lavoy. Lavoy hands it off to Sands Hanna. Sands Hanna trying to find Ellie O'Keefe inside. She does, and the shot is good. Three point Huskies lead. Raybon takes it up. Holman got to limit the turnovers. As that one is tipped, that'll stay here. As Haley Lavoy touched it last. So it'll stay Vikings ball. But too many pass attempts that have been stolen away so far in the second half. Olsen trying to find Jar inside. She loses the ball as it's taken away from her. Here come the Huskies now. Ellie O'Keefe taking it herself. And a timeout taken by the Vikings. This is the largest lead tonight. It's by, f it's the Huskies by five. We'll take a break ourselves. This is High School Girls Basketball on WKTY. Oh, I have so many resolutions for 2024. Yeah, like what? Go to the gym, try to keep a plan alive, save some money. I hear you, but you can totally save money with a little help from Citizens First Bank, of course. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they help me set up a savings account. I can track my transactions with mobile banking. Lots of stuff. Wow, I'll give them a call. From your first account to every other first that comes next. Citizens First Bank. Banking with people. Member FDIC. Cheering for your team at the game can definitely give them a needed push on the field. Cheering for your plumber, on the other hand, well, the team at Bernie Buckner can't say it happens every day, but they'll get the job done no matter what. So make some noise for your team at the next game, and if you need a plumber or someone to take on your next commercial HVAC project, call Bernie Buckner. They're proud to support high school athletics, and they aren't afraid to tackle your toilet trouble. Go to BernieBucknerINC.com. Welcome back. 
to Holman High School. Great game so far. Eau Claire North. Huskies up five. Their record is six and six on the year. Holman's record five and seven. However, four and one in conference play, might I add. So that's very impressive to say the least. Klein has it, dribbling it around. Defended very well by Ellie O'Keefe. Finally finds Schneider. She drives and foul on the ground. A little physical there. As Schneider was trying to create space from herself. There's a blocking foul. It'll stay Vikings ball. Klein kips it over to Schneider. And Klein for three, it's good. Macy Klein cuts that deficit to two points. Huskies now have it. O'Keefe hands it to the other O'Keefe. Corner three is off the mark. It'll be an air ball. And it'll be a foul call. Uh, number 11, Novalin ha Sands Hannah. She was looking for a jump ball. She thought she had all ball. She turned out to be wrong, according to the referee. So Macy Klein will take it up now. Feeds it to Lydia Olson, left side. She puts up a shot, no good. Offensive rebound. And the putback also no good. Huskies get it now. Ellie O'Keefe pushing it. Finds Lavoie. Lavoie to Sands. Hannah. Cross pass over to Smith for three. That one's no good. Rebound goes to the Vikings. Down two, 12 minutes to play. Cross court pass to Lydia Olsen. She made sure not to lose her footing there. Good job. Macy Klein finds Olsen left corner. Pump fakes. Puts up a two. That one off the mark. Teff trying to get the offensive rebound. Could not get it. Huskies push it, feed it inside to Lavoy. Her shot's no good. I don't think she knew where she was underneath the hoop. And a traveling violation's called on Schneider, I think. This has got to be the most travels and charges I've seen. I couldn't tell you if she did or not. I just saw that she had the ball. Well, it's Huskies ball nonetheless. Two point attempt is no good. Off, or a rebound. Schneider was trying to get it. She gave it right to O'Keefe, but her shot's no good. Maybe ball doesn't lie. Klein puts up a two, that one's no good. Teff trying to get an offensive rebound. She cannot, Raybon gets it instead. Raybon was trying to find Klein, it's off of one of the Huskies' legs. It ends up back to a Viking. Chaos is happening, and finally a two-point shot is good by Lydia Olsen. That ball was everywhere. And we're all tied up, 37 apiece. Just over 11 minutes to go. Ellie O'Keefe trying to feed it inside. She does to Staniford. Basket's good. Her second field goal of the night. Huskies retake the lead. 39-37 our score. Great game so far. The biggest lead has been five. Deep two is no good from Lydia Olson. And Raybon fights for the ball back. However, that one's gonna be stolen away. Huskies fast break, that one's good. Huskies go up by four now. It's Staniford again. Back-to-back -back field goals from her. And it brings her team up by four. Lavoie tried to steal it. Schneider lost the ball. No, she's fouled. So Santana called with another foul. That's her third personal. She'll stay in the game, though. So Vikings will get it at their own baseline. Down four, just over 10 minutes to play. 
They were trying to find Jar. It was tipped. Jar still gets it nonetheless. Raybon for three. That one no good. Teff fighting for the rebound. She gets it. Kicks it out to Velisca. Now to Raybon for three again. That one hits the front rim. No good. Huskies trying to push it. Sands Hannah picks up her dribble. And Eau Claire North slows things down. And a timeout is called by Eau Claire North. With just under 10 minutes to go, we got a good one, folks. Don't go anywhere. Four-point game. This is high school girls basketball on WKTY. Remember when service stations actually cared about service? These days, it seems like fast and good enough are the new standards. Andy's Main Street Auto doesn't see it that way. When you stop into Andy's for a full service oil change, you get real service. Your oil change comes with a 21-point inspection, including brakes. Plus, all of your fluids get topped off. Top to bottom, front to back, for 50 years, Andy's has been repairing your car or truck. Andy's Main Street Auto in Holman putting service back into service stations. Welcome back to Holman, Wisconsin. Some Monday night hoops action. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Maybe you got two TVs going on as the college football playoff championships also going on. Or you're watching this on your phone, tablet, computer, wherever you are. It's greatly appreciated. Huskies with the ball. After their timeout, they're up four, trying to extend their lead. Again, the largest lead tonight has been only five points, and that was the Huskies. Two-point attempt from Sanford is no good. Jar gets the rebound. She'll dribble it up herself. Klein is getting guarded, like face guarded, by Elio Keith this whole entire second half. She can't even get the ball. And that's probably good on... The Huskies doing that. Klein has it now, looking for somebody. Pump fakes a pass, drives right, feeds a jar inside, kicks it out. Teth, deep two, no good. Jar fighting for the rebound, but she's called for the over the back foul. So it'll be Huskies ball, nine, 10 to play here in this ball game. Jar's first, so no need to worry about her there. Personal foul-wise. Team foul-wise, it's only Holman's second compared to Eau Claire North's five already. Jaden Smith has it now. Swings it over to Shepler. Shepler looking around, trying to find O'Keefe inside. That one is tipped. Now Velisca and O'Keefe fighting for it. They're going to say jump ball, possession arrow. Huskies. Buschendorf will check in for Staniford. 8.48 to go. Holman down four. And the inbound pass to Shepler is good. Just how they drew it up. It's her first field goal made. She's got a couple of free throws earlier in this game. Huskies up six. Velisca for three. That one no good. Rebound goes to the Huskies. This is the largest lead tonight. Only six points. It's been very competitive both ways as Elio Keith traveled. Boy, oh boy, these refs. They're not getting away with anything. I don't think Giannis could even get away with anything here with this referee crew. Because as much as us Wisconsinites love him, yeah, Giannis does travel pretty much every time he's going to the basket. But who cares? He's a buck. Anyways, here's Macy Klein. Kicks it to Raybon. Raybon trying to find Jahar inside. Bad pass there. Turnover. Huskies have it. They're pushing it up the floor. And great pass there from O'Keefe, finding Buschendorf inside for two. Eight point Husky lead. Holman offensively has gone cold with the turnovers and missed shots, and Jar trying to fix that. She's fouled on her way up. She'll get two. No other 
person you want trying to change things. An Izzy Jar. First free throw is good. She's been the backbone of this offense so far this season. And the second one also good. Great free throw shooter as well. Huskies have it now with O'Keefe. Finds Shepler and a kicked ball violation. On one of the Vikings. They were trying to find Buschendorf in the paint. That's one way to deny it. Kick ball. I still call it a good defensive play, nonetheless. You gotta deny the pass somehow. They try to fiend Buschendorf inside, and it's gonna be a jump ball. Good job there, good defense from Holman. I think it was Klein that got her hands on the ball. So Vikings have it, down six, seven and a half minutes to go. Klein going to her right, trying to find Velisca. She almost lost it, regains possession. Looking for Jar, that pass is tipped. And it goes the Huskies' way. They're pushing it now. O'Keefe slows things down, finds Jaden Smith for three. Off the front rim and backboard, no good. Rebound, Izzy Jar. She'll take it up the court herself. Buschendorf guarding her. Finds Macy Klein. Klein finds Velisca top of the key. Hits Raybon for three. No good. Raybon tried to follow her shot. Couldn't get the rebound, though. Huskies have it. They're pushing the floor. Transition bucket. No good. Jar gets the rebound. Jar going to push it herself. One-on-one. -on -one. She goes up for two. It's good. Good attempt there from Izzy Jar, and Holman's going to call a timeout. They cut the deficit back down to four with six and a half minutes to go. We got a good ball game, folks. This is High School Girls Basketball on WKTY. Oh, I have so many resolutions for 2024. Yeah? Like what? Go to the gym, try to keep a plan alive, save some money. I hear you, but you can totally save money with a little help from Citizens First Bank, of course. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they helped me set up a savings account. I can track my transactions with mobile banking. Lots of stuff. Wow. I'll give them a call. From your first account to every other first that comes next. Citizens First Bank. Banking with people. Member FDIC. Welcome back. Youth night here at Holman High School. All the youth girls basketball teams ranging from third grade to eighth grade is in attendance. On the other side of the floor, you'll probably will be able to see them on the camera on the video feed. Took up a whole section of their own. Great turnout. Good energy tonight from everybody. It's been a great game. How can you not have good energy here? It's been back and forth. Ellie O'Keefe drives and kicks it out to Shepler, who then finds Lavoie. Feeds it to Smith in the corner. Turnaround jumper is good by Cortara Smith. Huskies go back up to a six point lead. Schneider has it now. Driving left, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound, Velisca in the left corner. Almost got it taken away. His last touch by Ava O'Keefe. It'll stay Vikings ball. Izzy Jar checks back in. That was a quick rest. For Lydia Olson. Schneider will inbound it. Finds Klein easily. Dribbles it over to the right side. Gives it to Raybon. Raybon looking for Jar. She puts up the two. Rolls around the rim. No good. It was a good look. She couldn't find it. Under six to play. Elio Keefe with it. Finds Lavoy. Lavoy driving to the middle. Shot up. No good. Rebound, Raybon. Raybon finds Klein. Velisca, top of the key. Thought about the three, does not. Drives right, puts up a shot. Blocking foul. 
she'll get two. Cortara Smith was trying to draw the charge, was not there in time. So Valesco will get two. Vikings down six. Just under five and a half to play. First one's good from Cindy Velisca. She's seen her first two attempts on the line tonight. She'll miss the second one. Huskies get the rebound, courtesy of Shepler. Lavoy has it now, left corner. Kicks it to Shepler. Shepler driving right, kicks it to the right corner. Ellie O'Keefe finds her sister, Ava O'Keefe. Shot up, no good. Rebound Schneider, looking around. She picks up her dribble, finds Klein. They finally get a pass half court. Feeds it to Jar inside. She's fouled, and they say it's on the ground before Jar put up the shot. But it doesn't matter, it's a bonus. The Huskies are over the limit, so it'll be a one in one attempt from her. Again, if she doesn't make it, both teams have a chance to get the rebound. If she does make it, she'll get another free throw attempt. 4.58 to play. First attempt, it's good. She'll get another one. Four point game. Second one, hits the front rim, could not roll in. So the deficit cuts to four. Again, under five to play. Ellie O'Keefe driving to her right, puts up a shot, she's fouled on her way up. Looked like she was just trying to draw contact. Wasn't really a real shot attempt there. That's Velisca's first. So O'Keefe will get two. Ellie O'Keefe, that is. First attempt is good. Five point Husky lead. Her largest was eight. Second one also good from O'Keefe. Vikings down six, under five to play. Klein taking it up the court, finds Velisca. Velisca driving to the middle, finds Jar. Jump shot, good for Izzy Jar. And the deficit back to four again. Vikings. Trying to find a trap there, and it's intercepted by Klein. She's fouled driving, so she'll get a one and one chance. Again, as I mentioned earlier, Macy Klein just plays with her head down, very aggressive, looking to score every chance she gets. And it's great to have her back. So another one and one attempt. Rolling around the rim, this time it'll go in. 49-46 is our score. Second attempt, that one's money, it didn't even hit the rim. Two point game. Just over four minutes to play. Huskies have it. Vikings playing a zone. They feed it inside to Staniford. That one's no good. Vikings get the ball. Klein was trying to find Jar ahead of the court. Didn't want to risk taking that pass. They swing it to Raybon. Raybon finds Jar. Drives to the middle. Puts up a shot. That one's no good. She gets her own rebound. Velisca for three. No good. And Schneider fighting for it. It'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow goes to the Huskies, unfortunately, but good job there. 
trying to make the Huskies earn it. And you get the possession arrow back. You never know. The amount of jump balls we've seen tonight, there'll probably be another one. Just over three and a half minutes to play. 49-47, Husky lead. Holman playing his own, trying to trap whoever has the ball. And the pass is lost by Novalin Sands Hanna. Turnover, Vikings ball. 321 to play. Holman has been tightening up their defense here in the second half. Trying to take the lead. They haven't had it for a while. Elio Keith guarding Macy Klein. Klein driving to her left, now moving to the right. Puts up a shot. That one no good. Try to tie it with that shot there. Elio Keith driving right, kicks it out. Now it's Buschendorf. She loses it. A lot of contact there. There were three Vikings all over. Finds it Schneider inside. Schneider puts up a shot. No good. Jar gets it. Back to Velisca for three. No good. And it'll go out of bounds. Huskies ball. Vikings have had a lot of chances to try to tie it, if not take the lead. They've had a lot of shot opportunities. They just can't get them to fall right now. But the fact that you're getting the opportunities is what you'll take. Velisca Jar trapping. Now Jar moves over to the other side with Raybon helping her. Three-point attempt from Smith. It's no good. Everyone fighting for the rebound. Look at the effort from Klein. Getting her hands dirty. And it's going to be a foul on Eau Claire North. On Hope Buschendorf. So I think it's double bonus. So I think it's going to be two free throws here to try to tie it. Schneider will shoot two. She's made four free throws so far. And the first one is good. Forty-nine, forty-eight, our score. Second attempt, no good. And the Huskies get the rebound. O'Keefe has it. On the left side, hands it off. And I think she, yeah, she couldn't hang on to the ball, so she walked. Santana had trouble trying to control the ball. She was kind of fumbling with it, and while she was trying to regain control of the ball, she walked that entire time. So Holman has it now, down one. Any shot will take the lead. Schneider finds Klein. To Velisca, back to Raybon now. They swing it to Klein, top of the key. Schneider cutting inside, puts up a shot. It's good! Olivia Schneider for two there, and the Vikings have a one-point lead. And a turnover there from Eau Claire North. Had Jaden Smith open cutting. Buschendorf could not put on the right pass. So a minute and a half to go. Vikings up one. They are now in control. They've been scratching and clawing, trying to take the lead. Now they have a little more power on their side. Schneider has it, right wing. Looking for somebody. Finds Raybon, puts up a three. It's good! Danica Raybon for three, and a timeout is called. Vikings go up by four. Are you kidding? With 108 to play, we're going to take a break ourselves. This is High School Girls Basketball on WKTY. Cheering for your team at the game can definitely give them a needed push on the field. 
Cheering for your plumber, on the other hand, well, the team at Bernie Buckner can't say it happens every day, but they'll get the job done no matter what. So make some noise for your team at the next game, and if you need a plumber or someone to take on your next commercial HVAC project, call Bernie Buckner. They're proud to support high school athletics, and they aren't afraid to tackle your toilet trouble. Go to BernieBucknerINC.com. Remember when service stations actually cared about service? These days, it seems like fast and good enough are the new standards. Andy's Main Street Auto doesn't see it that way. When you stop into Andy's for a full service oil change, you get real service. Your oil change comes with a 21-point inspection, including brakes. Plus, all of your fluids get topped off. Top to bottom, front to back, for 50 years, Andy's has been repairing your car or truck. Andy's Main Street Auto in Holman putting service back into service stations. Welcome back to Holman High School here in Holman, Wisconsin. The Vikings are up four. What a turn of events. Great three-point shot there from Raybon. Crowd is now fired up knowing that they're up four. Huskies got some work to do down four now. Ellie O'Keefe, the leading scorer. Trying to take things herself, we'll see. Drives left, puts up the shot, it's denied! Olivia Schneider says, not in my house. Under a minute to go, Velisca finds it to Schneider. Again, they don't need to do anything crazy, they're already up four. Just can't lose the ball. Finds Jar, she's fouled, she'll get two. 40.4 seconds to go. Izzy Jar on the line. Again, Vikings up four. Double bonus. She gets two automatically. First one rolls around the rim. No good. Unfortunate there. See if she can redeem herself. And she does. Five point Viking lead. Huskies, right handed shot attempt is good by Shepler and they'll call a timeout after that. They cut the lead down to three. And we'll take a break ourselves. Hungry? Get to the Blue Moon, the Highway 35 landmark across from the Big Fish. We're open and still serving great food specials every day of the week. Sunday, kids eat for just 99 cents. Monday, get 75 cent boneless wings. Got five bucks? Come in Tuesday for $2 off appetizers or Wednesday for $1 wings. Got any friends? Good for you. Bring them in Thursday for burgers. Friday, we've got the best fish fry in town. And Saturday, prime rib. Breakfast till two? Done. Everything you want every day of the week at the Blue Moon. Oh, I have so many resolutions for 2024. Yeah? Like what? Go to the gym, try to keep a plan alive, save some money. I hear you, but you can totally save money with a little help from Citizens First Bank, of course. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they help me set up a savings account. I can track my transactions with mobile banking. Lots of stuff. Wow, I'll give them a call. From your first account to every other first that comes next. Citizens First Bank. Banking with people. Member FDIC. Welcome back, Holman fans. Clapping it up, they're on their feet. They're excited, as they should be. Up three right now. Again, Huskies just made a two-pointer. And then they called the timeout. Velisca inbounds it to Klein. Just gotta get it past half court. Klein, she's fouled. Trying to maneuver her way through a bunch of defenders. So she'll get two. And this gymnasium starting to chant, led by the youth girls. Got to quiet down though, Klein. Got to concentrate, making these two. First one is good. 55-51. Missy Klein misses the second one. And it's last touch by a Husky. So it'll stay here 
on this side of the court. Klein will inbound it. Holman up four, 27 seconds to go. I think the Huskies got to play the foul game. Finds Jar, top of the key. She's dribbling around, waiting to get fouled. She is fouled by Jaden Smith. So Izzy Jar will get two with 24.2 seconds to go here in the ball game. First attempt from Jar is good. 56-51. Vikings up five. Second one also good. Fell through the same way the first one did. 57-51. Huskies down six. O'Keefe finds Shepler. Shepler to Ava O'Keefe for three. No good. Jar gets the rebound. She's fouled. She'll get two more free throws. Things are looking pretty good here for the Vikings. Nine point six seconds to go. And the Vikings up six, 57-51. As I mentioned earlier, both these teams average around 50 points a game and that will still stand tonight. First attempt is good. Fifty-eight, fifty-one. Second one also good. Izzy Char has made ten free throws tonight. Huskies down eight. Three-point attempt from O'Keefe, off the mark. Klein gets the rebound, dribbling around, and that will do it. Your Holman Vikings are victorious tonight. 59-51 is the final score. What a game. Vikings were down by as much as eight points in the second half, and they battle back to win by eight. An incredible game played without Charlie Casey as well. Good job from the Holman girls tonight. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Don't forget tomorrow night's game. If it's played, obviously there's a huge snowstorm tonight. Hopefully everybody will be safe tomorrow. And hopefully we do have a game tomorrow. It's boys basketball tomorrow. Well, for Scott being the man behind the scenes, I'm Tyler Belke saying so long from Holman, Wisconsin. <laughs>